Hi guys, April here. Welcome to part two of the Elf Dress with Accessories. Today we're going to be working on the scarf and then we will follow up with the hat. So you're going to be needing in this video the same as the last video. Uh, your inspirations for Nat Premium White. This is just plain white. Of course you can use whatever you have on hand or whatever colors you choose, but this is just uh, what I'm using. And then for the red, I'm using Your Inspirations Bernat Premium Red Sparkle. You'll also need, of course, a darning needle to sew in your ends, a pair of scissors, and today I'm using a 4.5 uh, crochet hook. So let's begin. So the scarf is just a row of star stitches. What you'll need for that is to do a chain with multiples of two plus one. So I've gone ahead and done a chain of 50 plus one, so 51 in total. And then for the star stitch, what you're going to do is in the second chain from your hook, so not this chain, in this little chain right here, I want you to insert your hook and then draw up a loop and then into the next stitch over, insert your hook, and draw up a loop, in the next stitch, insert your hook, and draw up a loop. So you should have four loops on your hook, insert your hook, draw up a loop, and one more time, insert your hook, draw up a loop, so you should have six loops on your hook. Then you're going to yarn over, and pull through all six loops on your hook. And that forms your first star. So then you're going to go ahead and chain one, and that closes it off. Okay, so that's your first star. So for the second star, we're going to be working into the side of this stitch. So we're going to start with the little eye right here, and then we're going to be working into um, the, the first, the last um, stitch here in the star on the side, and then we're going to be working into the very bottom of that star. So insert your hook into the eye of that star and drop a loop. And then insert your hook into the last stitch on that star. Okay. Drop a loop, so you should have three loops on your hook. Then insert your hook into the bottom of that star, so where you put in your last stitch on that star. Insert your hook, drop a loop. Then into the next stitch on the chain, insert your hook, drop a loop. And again, in the next stitch on the chain, insert your hook, drop a loop. Okay, six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all six, yarn over, do a single chain and close up that star. So you're gonna be working a series of these all the way down to the other side and I will meet you back here when you're done. So once you arrive at the end of your star stitches, you should have 14 star stitches in total. We're just gonna finish up this row by inserting a half double crochet into the last stitch of the last star, so where you inserted the very last stitch. Just gonna do a half double crochet in there and that will end this row. Then chain one, turn your work, and then into this little stitch right there, which is the very bottom of your turning chain, insert a single crochet just into that bottom stitch. And then into the eye of your last star. So you may have to flip your work to be able to find it. So the eye is right there, right here where my thumb is. That's the eye. So into that little spot right there, insert a single crochet.
Okay, and that will give you a nice square corner. And then into each of the eyes, all the way down the chain, insert two single crochets. So find your eye, and then just insert two single crochets. Oops. And you're gonna continue that all the way down to the very end. And then I will meet you back. Okay, once you've completed all of your single crochets, you're just going to insert one single crochet in your turning chain, and that will finish up this row. And that is it for the white. So go ahead and snip off your wool. Do a little slip stitch here, pull it tight, and we are done with the white. So that is your 14 little star stitches. And now we'll continue with the red. So in order to create the fringe on the end of your scarf, we're going to be working on the front side of your scarf. So star side facing up. So insert your color however you're most comfortable. And then we're going to start by putting a single crochet in the same stitch as your color change. And then we want to put three more single crochet along this edge. And of course, this is the side of your project, so there are no ready-made stitches. So just space them out as evenly as you possibly can. So this is three and four. This is in my initial chain stitch there. All right, so there is my four single crochet. So now go ahead and chain one, turn your work. I didn't bother sewing in my ends. Um, I'll just do that later because once across is not gonna be enough anyway. Now, what we're gonna be doing now is the loop stitch. So what you're gonna do is end this first stitch here, right in the very first one, insert your hook, and then take your wool, take your hook like you normally would, except instead of wrapping around this one, you're going to wrap around the very back one. Okay, so you're going to go like this, pull it around, grab the top one as well. So you have now both strands, and then pull them through, and then just Pull your back string there to tighten it, finger tight, as the scanners would say, and then tuck it under, yarn over, and pull through those three chains that are on your hook. Okay, so that is your first loop stitch. So now we're going to go ahead and repeat that. Insert your hook, yarn over the back one, pull up around the top one, pull through. If this is complicated, don't worry, after a while it comes very naturally. Just pull to tighten, finger tight, yarn over, and pull through all three. And we'll do that two more times until we get to the end. We're going to do two rows of these. We don't want it too puffy. She's just a little gal. Insert into that last one, which can be kind of tight because that's where your color changes. Tighten it. And that's it. So now, chain one, turn your work, and then we're just going to simply single crochet in those same four stitches all the way across to the other side. So that's one two, three, and four. And then we're going to repeat that. So chain one, turn your work into that first stitch, yarn over with both loops, pull through, pull finger tight, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, so you finish up your last stitch there, yarn over, pull tight, and then do a slip knot and tie off your end 
and that's one end done. So repeat that on the other side, and that completes the fringe on your little scarf, which gives us this little puffy here. And meet me back when you're done. So here is the finished scarf, or the ends all sewed in and both ends done. It just creates this little puff stitch. I didn't want to have a loose fringe, so I kind of liked doing it this way. And now we're going to find the center, so that would be about there. So in that little star stitch, I'm just going to put a little burst. So the dress, I put six little bursts on it. This one, I only put three, one in the center and then one kind of halfway between the center and the end. So in order to do that, just grab a couple feet of yarn and uh, just tie a few knots in the end. Actually, don't even need a couple feet, maybe a foot and a half. So again, I'm going to find my center. It's not really a center because there is 14 stars along here. So obviously you're going to be off center on to one side. If you come through a star, if you come through the center of the stars here, then you'll be completely center. But I prefer to go through a star. So come up through the center of the star and then pull your wool through. And then right at the top, these are much smaller than on the front of the dress. So come straight up on the top and just right into the edge of that stitch. I pulled through there and that gives me my look. I'm gonna do the same on this side. So I'm just gonna come in at the edge of that stitch. And then we're gonna come up through the center again. And then you're just gonna repeat this eight times for all of the ends or little bursts. A little bit wonky I think. I'm just gonna come in here and there you go. So that is your little starburst. So on the back side you will have your knot here. Oh what I do there. So on the back side you're gonna have this little knot here on the back. I'm not really too worried about that. It's gonna be on the inside of the scarf so when the elf is wearing it, you're not actually going to be able to notice it. If you have a less messy way of doing that, then by all means, but that's just how I did it. So that's it. So repeat that three times and you will have your three little stars, one on either so I, the next star, I kind of did about the halfway mark between the center star and the edge. So I just did the three. So uh, finish that up and uh, we'll get started on the hat. So in order to do the hat, you're going to start with a chain of 32 and then come back to the beginning and just slip stitch into that first chain. And then once you've done that, chain up two. And then we're just going to do a series of half double crochets all the way around the circle, one in each stitch. I'm going to skip this first stitch because that is the stitch that your chain is in and go to the second stitch there and insert a half double crochet into that stitch. So pull through all three loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook, and pull through all three and that's it so just repeat that all the way around back to the beginning and I will meet you back here when you're done so once you have your 32 half double crochet I'm just working on my last one here and then we're just going to slip stitch to the top of your initial chain two let's just do a quick little slip stitch in there and all done. So now 
pull that tight chain two turn your work and now we are going to work all the way around the outside in each one of these stitches you're going to put two double crochet so you're going to start in the first stitch the one right at the bottom of your chain two here insert there and just do one double crochet because your chain two counts as your other double crochet and then into the next stitch two double crochet so in the end you should have 64 double crochet Two. Okay, so continue that all the way around and meet me back at the beginning when you're done. So once you have your 64 double crochet and come back to the beginning and slip stitch into your first double crochet and that is it. So now we are done with the white. And so go ahead and do a slip stitch, tie that off. tight okay so now we have the brim of the hat which looks really big but that's what makes it so cute and now we are going to switch off colors and switch to the red sparkle so again you can just attach your wool however you're most comfortable doing that Attach it wherever you would like to on the brim. I like to attach it a little bit before um, my original stitch with the white so that I can just go ahead and sew that in as I go. So once you attach your next color, you're just going to single crochet into that same space. And then single crochet all the way around back to the beginning in each stitch so you should have 64 single crochets all the way back around to the beginning so bury your ends in as you go and this will be the edge of the brim of the hat and when we come back we will work on the head portion or the portion that's going to go over top of the cone on the elf's hat so continue this and I will meet you back. Okay, so once you have your 64 single crochet, you're just going to put a slip stitch into the top of your initial single crochet. Slip stitch and tie off that is the brim done once you sew in your ends okay so now we're going to be working on uh, the top of the hat so this portion right here is the part that we're going to be working on now so this is basically just going to be a, a, a bunch of rows of double crochet and we're going to do a few decreases in there just to make it uh, shrink back so that it's like a cone. So go ahead and attach your color. We're working into the um, initial chain of 32 that you did to start with. So you're going to start with by chaining up two and then you're going to be doing as just a series of double crochet all the way around. So we need to do five decreases in this round. So um, I have 32 stitches, so I'm going to go six double crochet, and then in the sixth double crochet, I'm going to go ahead and do a decrease. That's one, two, three, four, five, counting my chain two at the beginning. So, so this is my sixth here, so... I'm going to go ahead and do a decrease here. So to do a decrease, you're just going to yarn over, pull through, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, tuck away my ends there, pull through, 
pull through two. Now, different people do this different ways. Uh, some people will yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two again. Uh, I yarn over and just pull through all three. And then just continue back to the beginning. So for a total of five decreases. So I'm just coming up on my last decrease. So from my last decrease, I could only do three more stitches and then I have my last decrease. So if that's where you're at, that's okay. Your counts are correct. So we're gonna go ahead and complete the decrease here. And then attach at the top of your initial chain two. And that is the first round of the top of the hat finish. So for this round, we're going to do another five decreases. So we're going to start with a chain two, and then we are going to put a double crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And then, so that should be five double crochet in total, one, two, three, four, five, counting your initial chain two. And then you're gonna go ahead and do a decrease here. And repeat that around till you get back to the beginning and I will meet you back. So just put your fingers together and wrap your wool around your finger and you can go of course as many times as you like depending on how big you want your pom-pom then go ahead and give it a snip then cut yourself a short piece of wool about six inches or so I use my hook to help out with this part the wool through on the other side helps if you hold it in place there we go so pull the wool through. So now you have your wool coming through the back of your fingers here, like so. Just put it between your two fingers on the one side. Okay, so now you're just going to tie this in a knot, tight as you can. And then we can go ahead and take it off. Tie it tight, tight, tight. And you might want to knot this a couple times just for good measure. Okay, once you've done that, leave the long ends on there because we're going to use those later to tie those in um, to the hat. If you have any extra pieces like this long thread here, you can just snip that. Not that it matters because we're just going to be snipping all these little loops here around the edges, just stick your scissors through and give them a little snip all the way around. Try to get them all. I usually come across stragglers toward the end. Then I just, in order to kind of make it as straight as possible, I want to keep that. So. I just kind of fluff it up and then just give it a trim like a little haircut all the way around. There we go. Pull all that aside. So now we have our little pom-pom with a string on the end so you can just find where it is on your hat you want to place it. So the part of your hat you like the best and then just go ahead now where you're going to insert your hook you want it to be you don't want it to be like this like between two stitches uh, you definitely want it to be in the middle of a stitch so that's just going to help it be secure so right in the center of a stitch like that and then just go ahead and pull it through
there you go so now once you do that on this side you can just uh, attach it to your darning needle and stitch it in place back here Once you sew in your ends, that's her little hat. So a full outfit, this hat dress is now complete, and her new scarf. So there you go. So if you stayed along with me through this whole thing, I thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, please like, remember to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.